back to the Greg Luchak Show. Today I want to, I'm going to basically be re-releasing a video that I uploaded to my uh, Instagram account back in August of 2018. I was a little surprised because I've been going back, going over some of my videos to see if there's some content that I can use or repost here on my Facebook channel. And I've, as you've seen, I've done a few of those already. This particular video was called, Let's Start a Conversation. Today I'm re renaming Let's Start a Conversation again. I was very surprised to see that it actually had, had received over 4,000, about 4,100 views. I was a little surprised going back. It's like the most viewed video that I had posted to Instagram. So obviously it sparked some interest. And you know, I kind of aimed it at the millennial generation who I figure like, I think is the most entrepreneurial generation of our time. And I basically wanted to, uh, you know, what was the hashtag I used? I used, uh, I want to brag about your generation. So I want you to go back, you know, have a quick look at this video again. Let's see if it garners just as much interest. You know, at the end of the video, we're going to ask a question, leave a comment. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and we'll, uh, we'll let you have a look at the, at the video. Enjoy. Hey everybody, Greg Luchak here. Today I just want to start a, I want to start a conversation about jobs, the economy, lifestyle. How is it working out for you? Let me start by saying the American, uh, the American economy is just humming along. Most experts predicted that the next boom would be around 2020 to 2024. Uh, you know, that's when like, the habits of the, the millennials and the Gen Y will start to change. They'll start buying their first home. They'll start investing for their, their kids' education. They'll start making bigger purchases, uh, you know, because they'll, they'll be getting into full swing into, the, into their jobs and, and making more money. So that's, that's kind of a predictable thing. But Trump has come along and he's kind of changed that for the, for, for the United States, for example. Uh, he has aggressively engaged the economy with new policies and they're working. Although in Canada, we may still face a recession before 2024 hits. Having said all that, even though many new jobs have been created, many still will face financial hardship. People are carrying too much debt. I estimate that at least 30% of North Americans can't even buy a home. You know, and I think that's a conservative number. That actually, it might even be much higher than that. That's 120 million people. That's a lot of people that can't afford to buy a home. So how can you change or how can we change our financial position in life? One of the reasons I wrote my book, The Wealth Principle, was to address one of like this question, for example. Who wants more out of life? Who wants to make more money? Who wants to buy a house, uh, go on vacation, pay cash, uh, and never have to worry about the bills? The most competitive arena you will ever be in is to become an employee. Why do I say that? Well, you think about it, you know, we grew up with this idea that, you know, you, you go out and you get a good education and you get a good job and uh, you, you buy a house, and you pay off your house and you, and you hopefully have a pension. And that, like, that's the kind of the plan we've all been induced to, to do. But to become an employee is it, it's, you're competing amongst, amongst, amongst everybody in the world today for a job. You have to have a better education. You're competing, you, know, you have to go for you know, interviews, you have to use a resume, apply for it and be interviewed, you know, go through multiple interviews, you know, if, especially if you're looking for a higher price job so you can be making some good enough money to maybe buy a house, pay off your, your university or college debt. So it's, it, it's very expensive, it's very tough for people to, to break out of that concept, but you have to. I've had this idea that uh, you know, that old age concept of get a good education, a good job, buy a house, pay off. That system is broken. 50% of people are struggling with that. That's 200 million people. That's a lot of people in North America. In my opinion, the only way to break or to change that scenario, to break that common mold, would, would, would be to become an entrepreneur. You know, start a business. Uh, the fact is, if you, you won't really have any competition when you become a business owner with yourself personally, because you don't need to apply for the job because it's not a job. You don't need a resume. You don't even need a great deal of education because what you're going to be doing is hiring the educated. You know, you'll have to work your butt off. You know, it won't be easy. There will always be ways, you know, there, there will always be a learning curve to overcome. So in my opinion, the best way to break the status quo 
is to have multiple streams of income. So if you know if you want to buy a house, if you want to pay cash for everything, you want to get rid of debt relatively quickly, it's it's getting exceedingly more difficult in a job. And I'll give you an example. You look at housing, for example, you don't want to buy a house. I looked at when my parents bought their first home back in the early 60s. It was a single income family earning about uh, you know seven, eight thousand dollars a year bought their first home for 16,000, about 200% of income. Today, that same that scenario doesn't exist today. Today, you know, and it depends on where you are because every real estate market is different from one city to the next, et cetera. But uh, that whole situation of buying a house, well today, say for example, in Ottawa, to buy a brand new single family home is like 550,000 and takes a dual income family of earning at least $100,000. That's 550% of income and you could take that same scenario and apply it in a lot of places around North America. So in my opinion the best way to break the status quo is to have multiple streams of income. So what you need to do is, is, is to make some changes. So I want to start this conversation. I would love it if you could leave a question, leave me a comment, send me an email. Let's start talking about this and see if uh, we can help you out and help you change your station in life uh, by becoming an entrepreneur. That's that's my uh, blog for today. Let, I'd like to get your feedback. Let's start the conversation. You have a great day, and as always, you keep crushing it.